Okay, well, um, basically there's a national um, This Girl Can initiative um, set up by Sport England. It's sort of a, a national marketing campaign and it's really about breaking down barriers and, and getting rid of inhibitions because lots of women are put off sport because they think that they don't look right or they'll get sweaty or they'll have red faces. And so it's very much about just um, using lots of images to show that any girl can do sport. And, and certainly um, there's a national university, This Girl Can, Bucks This Girl Can Week, which is running this week. And so very much we're using it to, to try and encourage more of our female participants at the university to take part in it. We've got um, sort of about 60% um, females, 40% males at this university, but actually the other way around in our sports participation at the moment, so slightly more men than females take part in sports. So it's really about trying to push that and encourage, just encourage more girls to take part in sport because after all sport's brilliant. Well, we did a, a completely different um, event on Monday night. We, we did a UV netball initiative. So basically, we turned all the lights off. We um, we put like different markings on the bibs so that they glowed in the dark. And so we, we're trying to do things that dif that sort of engage people. And yeah, we had lots of turnout. But I think a lot of it's about just raising the profile and, and making my team. I have a team of about five sports development officers. It's just making them more aware that we should be looking a bit more at sort of women's sports and, and encouraging more girls. So it's it's a sort of whole collective really about about what we're doing this week. Um, and so yeah, it's ongoing. We've got some other events coming up. We've obviously got the, the main competitive sport week afternoon today on a Wednesday. So we've got lots of girls teams that we're highlighting. I wrote an article for the website which is being picked up and obviously this week we've had a brand new vice chancellor who's a female. Um, so we're really hoping that, that sort of it encourages girls to, to go and have a go at things, definitely. I think one of the most important things about encouraging girls to take part in sport is about role models. I think it's been absolutely fantastic the amount of media that women are starting to get. It's been absolutely poor over many, many years and I think that the more girls see, you know, especially the football and how successful the women were in the World Cup and, and they really have those role models to aspire to. But one of the things I also do, I'm one of the few female directors of sport in the country. There's probably only about a handful of us out of, you know, probably about 90 odd males. And so I think that one of my roles is about encouraging women um, to, to be involved in running sport as well. Not necessarily paid jobs, but volunteering roles. I think it's really easy to sort of, if you can see somebody taking part in that activity and they encourage you and they know what some of the issues that you might have, you know, might be, then actually that's probably really good. So yeah, absolutely events, you know, award ceremonies, anything to really highlight um, and plus much more TV coverage. We deserve it at the end of the day. I think one of the roles is, is one of the goals is really to try and mirror the, um, the, the sort of ratio within the university. So if we've got more females than males, we should be encouraging and, and having that sort of you know, similar profile within the, within the university for people taking part in sport. So it's very much about actively encouraging people to engage. And, and if the, one of the areas that we're not doing so well at, or not doing as well at, is, is women, then yeah, absolutely, that's one of my key targets. I, I think that, um, you know, as well as sort of taking part in sport for the health and the, and the wellbeing side of things, sport has a real vital role to play in things like employability and transferable skills, about friendship groups, about just having that sense of belonging and feeling at university. And if some of the, the sort of university are missing out on that, you know, because of their gender, then absolutely as my department, my priority and my role should be to look at making sure that that, you know, that disparity is, is changed, definitely. Absolutely. We actually did some research a couple of years ago that, that um, you know, females told us that some of the competitive elements of traditional sports that we were offering were putting girls off. So absolutely, the sort of more fun social side of things is, is definitely encouraging more females. Our female participation has risen significantly over the last three years because of the Park Life Initiative um, and certainly the role of my team, that, you know, the brilliant role that my team are doing to encourage more females to take part. Lots of different activities that we're trying as well. So it's not the traditional you know, sort of things that you might have done at school or, or see on the TV. It's lots of different different sports and, you know, just different twists on things like, you know, turning the lights off and putting some music on and playing sport, you know, with, with, in the glow or, or doing things like dodgeball tournaments or even Quidditch. You know, we've had some of those those types of activities and they really are encouraging more girls. We also know very much from, from research within our university as well that girls are quite interested in the health benefits of sport so we're looking much more about the fact that we've included all our classes free within our memberships now again this was an initiative we only took about three years ago 
and that really has actively encouraged more participation amongst our female student body. So yeah, anything that we can do to encourage more is, is, is all good. Yeah, well, I mean, our, our women's football is quite strong anyway. It's one of our traditionally strong sports at this university, and we have quite a lot of girls who play, and actually quite a lot of those girls who play at good level are, are linked in some way through through um, Brighton and Hove Albion ladies anyway. So, um, yeah, absolutely. I just think the whole thing about women's football, the whole priority that, that it's being given and, and, and you know, the rise in awareness or the raising of awareness around it, it can only encourage more people to take part. Years ago, you know, you would never have known, apart from maybe one person who, who you know, Hope Powell was the only person anybody ever had heard of in the, playing English football. Whereas now, you know, they can name quite a few of the players and actually they can recognise them as well. So that has actively encouraged more females. I think also one of the things that's really helped as well is the FA have taken off the age cap. So before, what happened was females who were really good and actually sometimes better than some of their male counterparts, when they got to a certain age, they weren't allowed to compete anymore. They had to go and find a female only team and they've actually increased that age barrier now so that more women, can, you know, more girls can stay in the game longer if there are not those female teams around. But saying that, there are more female teams and more female clubs now, so it's really encouraging more people to take part, so it's brilliant.